All right, so it looks like Logan Paul is really upset with Brendan Schaub, which is hilarious. You know, I'm sure a lot of people are just like, wait, Logan Paul cares what Brendan Schaub thinks? You know, out of everybody that's been goofing on him recently, it's Brendan Schaub he finally snaps at. So I guess good for Brendan. You know, if there's anything that can bring people together, it's goofing on Logan Paul. And the fact that Brendan Schaub managed to get under his skin is pretty funny. And the tweet that Brendan put out that pissed off Logan actually got a good amount of likes for him. And most of the comments were actually agreeing with him for once. Even though in Brendan's tweet, he implies that Logan is the one that's suing Dylan, which obviously isn't the case. But, you know, it's Brendan Schaub. What do you really expect? So Brendan, he commented on this clip from Jake Paul's podcast where him and Logan are talking about how Dylan is basically financially screwed from this lawsuit. Dylan Dennis has about $60,000 to his name and then that's being generous. Now because of the lawsuit he has to fight you to make the money otherwise he's gonna declare bankruptcy. But even then it doesn't end. You put liens on every paycheck he gets for the rest of his life. Yeah. Y'all trying to garnish his wages? Damn. So Brendan commented on this clip and he said, this bums me out. First rule of fight club, number one, don't sue another fighter building the fight. And I guess Logan had already DM'd Brendan about this a couple weeks ago because Brendan was saying he doesn't agree with the lawsuit, which again, I don't know why Logan cares. Like this just seems pretty desperate here. I mean, the fact that Logan Paul is going out of his way to DM Brendan Schaub details of the lawsuit to try to get his support is just sad. And it's even sadder the fact that he expected Brendan not to try to play both sides. You know, he said, it bums me out that three weeks ago I DM'd you Nita's lawsuit details because of your ignorance. And your response was, oh Jesus, did not know that. Not cool. Then you come on here talking about fight club rules like you're the referee. This twisted promotion has gone far beyond the fight game and you know that. Plus, I'm not the one suing him. He picked a fight with an innocent woman who is standing up for herself the only way she can by holding a predator legally accountable for breaking the law. Any person who doesn't understand that is a delusional twat. The lawsuit is her choice, and I fully support her. Now we'll get to break his face in front of millions of people and ruin his entire life. Win-win. Yeah, so all this stuff is definitely getting to Logan. I mean, you could tell this is just everything building up, and he finally just snapped. Because he really has no support here. You know, very few people think that Nina should be suing Dylan. I mean, the guy's going to Brendan Schaub for support. He's got nobody. Like, other than him, Adam22, he's in the comments. He's basically just trolling Logan, though. So, it's not looking good here. I mean, even just Brendan's response. You know, him saying, oh, Jesus, did not know that. Not cool. That just seems like some half-assed response. Like, I doubt Brendan even read the details of that lawsuit. You know, he's obviously just trying to play both sides, and he's telling Logan what he wants to hear. I mean, that's classic Shab. I don't know what Logan expected with this. Like, it's just clear Brendan thinks Logan should not sue Dylan. I don't know what he thinks of Nina suing Dylan, but he thinks Logan should not sue him. But maybe that's how Brendan will backtrack. Maybe he'll say, oh, I didn't realize it was Nina suing him. I got it all wrong. But I hope he just stands his ground. You know, I hope he doesn't backtrack because I'd respect him a lot more if he just says Dylan shouldn't be sued at all. And, you know, that's most people's opinion. So it's not like it's that ridiculous. I mean, even Andrew Schultz doesn't agree with it. And, you know, if Logan's pissed at Brendan here, he must be really pissed at Schultz. Because Andrew, he had Logan on a month ago, and they were all buddy-buddy, and it definitely seemed like he had Logan's back, especially since he didn't bring up CryptoZoo. And he also just had a lot of positive things to say about Logan. You know, he's praising Logan's success with Prime, and he's also talking about how awesome his other NFT project was. But then just recently, Schultz had on Dylan Dennis, and it seemed like they were pretty good friends, and Schultz got to wrestle him, which I'm sure he enjoyed. And it just seemed like this was one of his favorite podcasts. And at one point, he said he might be in Dylan's corner and he also invited Dylan to a show he's doing a day after the fight so if Logan felt backstabbed by Brendan I can't imagine what he's thinking about Schultz and I would like to invite you to our show the next day we're performing Let's in Manchester it. the next day so you're gonna I swear to God, just the odds of that. Really? The odds are completely random, but we're in Manchester on Sunday for a show. You guys are obviously doing a fight. Saturday. We could do the podcast together, son. I might be in your corner. Do you have anybody in your corner? No, you could. I you will know dead boxing? ass. What do you mean? Do I know boxing? I 
And also, Schultz had this to say about the lawsuit. He's, he's no. the first fighter in history I I've, I've, a fight promotion to do no, lawsuits. No, no, no. The lawsuit is corny. I don't think you should do a lawsuit. And Bro, I don't think it's fair I'm to go... I'm making him money. So I think it's safe to say Andrew and Logan's friendship is probably over. Unless Andrew is just very good at playing both sides. You know, I'm sure Logan sent him the same details that he sent Brendan. And it's not like that changed anything. You know, most people know what the lawsuit is about. But Logan tries to act like the public doesn't understand it and they're missing something. But of course, Logan won't talk about it. Like when he was on Jake's podcast, he's trying to act like people don't understand what's going on. And there's more to it than just the pictures he's been posting. And there's this serious crime being committed. And then when he's about to go into it, he's like, I don't know if I want to talk about it because I don't want to undermine the justice system or some bullshit like that but I think he just realizes that it's stupid and even if he talks about it people are not going to agree with him I think people are confused about what the lawsuit is I think a lot of people think it's about like the photos he's been posting the photos that are online it's not it's about a serious crime he committed and and to be honest I don't know if I want to or even can or should dive in that much because I don't want to undermine the the justice system like uh it speaks for itself and I, I don't want this to appear to be like fight promotion. Yeah, Does I don't think sense? it is. It's, I think the fight's this, already promoted. It, it, the lawsuit has nothing to do with me, bro. This, yeah. this is this is this is this is Nina's thing. This is her decision. I support her one hundred percent. I love that girl so much, and uh, this has been. Cra crazy crazy for both of us so i think logan probably realized if he went into detail about it people would still just think it's stupid and they'd be like really that's the reason she's suing him like i believe one of the main accusations made in the lawsuit other than just harassment from dylan posting all the pictures of her was she's trying to claim that dylan posted a video of her that was from a private snapchat account that was hacked a while back and i think she also might possibly be alleging that dylan is the one that hacked it which sounds ridiculous and i doubt dylan knew it was from a hacked account and when he figured out it was i think he took it down right away but i don't know maybe there is more to it you know he has been talking about that bombshell picture that he might drop so he might be in some trouble here but i just feel like if logan actually thought talking about this on a podcast would change people's opinion then he would do it he wouldn't be like I don't really want to go into it. You know, people, they got it all wrong. If they knew the true story, then they'd be on my side. But I just don't want to talk about it right now. Like, it obviously sounds like he knows the lawsuit is kind of stupid. And that's probably why he's going to Brendan Schaub for support. And also, maybe for some reason, Logan thought that Brendan would talk to Joe Rogan about it and get Joe to back him. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And also, I think part of the reason why Logan snapped at Brendan is because he's getting desperate. And he probably feels like he's losing credibility in the fight game. And also, at this point, he's got to be pissed with Nina. You know, I'm sure he didn't really want her to sue Dylan in the first place. Because he had to know that was going to be a bad look for them. And they're going to get a ton of shit for it. And also, whenever he talks about it, he always has to make sure to say it was all her decision. And he always points out that she's suing Dylan, not him. And he he says he supports her, but I don't know if he ever says he supports the lawsuit. And I'm sure Logan knew this wouldn't make anything better. You know, Dylan would just continue to post pics like he's done since she sued him. You know, nothing's really changed in terms of that. And she's probably getting even more shit for it. And also, I bet Logan was trying to convince her not to do it so she wouldn't give Dylan any excuses to back out of the fight. And I'm sure he's trying to tell her, listen, I'm just going to go in there and knock him out. That is going to be the best punishment for him. Trust me. And I think when you agree to fight Dylan Dennis, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Like, you're fighting him because he knows how to promote a fight. You know, he's good at trash talking. He's good at being a troll. And he's good at selling the fight. So you shouldn't be surprised when he does this kind of thing. And I mean, Logan should be thanking him. This is possibly the best promotion for a fight ever. And this is definitely what Logan wanted. But since his fiance decided to sue Dylan, it's a terrible look for him. And at this point, I'm pretty sure everybody wants to see him lose. And everybody thinks they're being way too sensitive. And it's clearly getting to Logan. I mean, the fact that he's going to Brennan Schaub for support is not good. But Brennan's probably pumped that Logan dragged him into this. Because now he has a chance to respond to him less than a week before the fight hopefully he doesn't apologize you know i hope he just doubles down that'd be hilarious but i don't know we'll have to wait and see let me know what you guys think about it all down in the comments and then make sure you go check out my patreon account i just posted an update about the whole tom segura airport meltdown 
And I also talked about Dylan on Andrew Schultz podcast a little more. And there's a bunch of other videos on there, over 40 exclusive videos. And I post a new video on there every week that's about 20 to 30 minutes. So if you like the channel, if you want to support it and you want to get more content, you want to stay up to date on everything, make sure you check it out. I'll put a link in the description and then hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.